have to do what? I got the clip off the pin, but the pin is stuck. And even if it does, it's gonna go into that opening up there and then what? How do you get to the screws? There's like two bolts that come in from this direction. And I think it's this part. Yeah, that's what's holding the whole pedal box in. What do you think? Pop that cover off? This is behind door number one. I can feel that screw that you're working on right now. It's still on there. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah! Oh! Is it rusty? It's rusty, but it's out. Oh, and it's man. still, I mean, one piece. Yeah. Okay, let's pull it out of there and put the new pedal in. There we go, the brake pedal's out. A lot of guesswork in that. I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of literature we could read on how to, on specific know, directions, but I we've- look, There's not good information out there. Yeah. That's crazy that it bolts through the freaking wiper transmission. Probably lack of room. Yeah, for sure. Now we can drive this pin out and put that one in. So we're in the process of doing a soft install of the clutch so that we can see if there's anything that needs to be moved or 
um, adjusted so that it has a good fit. And we're already finding that we're going to have to remove it and do a few modifications. So we've gotten the clutch pedal uh, and the brake pedal installed. And the instructions said that you can leave the pedal box um, bolted to the firewall, but we didn't find that on this car that would work. Um, the pin that originally held the brake pedal on went in this direction. So to get it out, you know, you'd have to drive it through this way and there was no clearance. It would just hit, you know, all the firewall pieces in there. So we took it out and then put the clutch pedal in and then the, the clutch pedal rod is a new rod that holds the <clears throat> brake pedal up and you wouldn't be able to fish that through there. There's just not enough room unless you cut a hole in the firewall. So on a 77 Corvette, the pedal box absolutely has to come out. And then now that it's, we kind of have it back in there, the clutch pedal won't come up all the way. It's hitting another bracket in there. So we'll have to um, take it back out and then we'll have to clearance that. I don't know if we can just bend it some or whatever we got to do, I can't really see. So we'll, uh, we'll pull that out. And then the other thing is you're not going to be able to get the uh, pivot for the hydraulic master on there either. So we're going to install this piece while we have it out next time. And then hopefully try to get this thing installed. Then you can see how tight it is in here too. Like right through here. Like there's like no, it's real tight. got the clutch pedal mounted, we wound up having to trim this corner off the pedal box. Uh, the heim joint was hitting it, so the pedal stopped about two inches uh, before it would return all the way. Um, but really not a big deal. I don't think it's gonna hurt the, uh, the structural integrity of the box. Okay, so right in there, you can see the heim joint was touching the bracket that the pedal box mounts to, which is glued to the body. So we had to cut that little corner off. So now the heim joint has as much travel as it needs. It's hitting the, the stopper, which is right there. So that's what we had to do to get the pedal to clear. So now we have to get, um, get into the firewall over here. If you can see that right over here. That's where we're gonna mount the a hydraulic part of it. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> 